Hey, so I'm looking at the new mech Sentinel on the test server. Uh, it's got a very interesting ability um, that I will explain right now. And the reason that it's the same reason that I have it maxed is because uh, it only activates when it's maxed. So the ability cooldown is actually dependent on the percentage of HP that you have left. Down to four seconds if you get it down to 20%. As you can see right here, uh, you know, I got the bot to <laughs> get me down to 20%. Uh, these are, you know, fairly low level bots, obviously, like, this isn't gonna be real indication, but like, you can see it went down. I have an ability cooldown on it too, so it's actually less than, less than four seconds. It's like a little more than three seconds, I think. But it's pretty crazy. It comes back so quickly. Let's see, this guy. This guy, he took down my shield. I see that I have a javelin lock on me, so I'm kind of taking cover, but then my shield comes back like immediately. It's crazy, I love it. It's an interesting uh, mechanic. I think they might introduce this to other mechs in the future, probably more likely a legendary one. Um, I did some gameplay of like carbines, because uh, I figured sustained damage weapon probably would do the best on this. Um, so probably something like Carbine, something like Graviton Beam, also. Uh, Minigun has like a lot of downtime, even though it has a lot of uptime, it also has a lot of downtime, so maybe not so much. Uh, Graviton Beam might be your best bet, because it does a lot of damage and it has a lot of uptime. And even though like it, it you know, eventually runs out of ammo, it's pretty easy to keep yourself from running out of ammo if you're careful. So yeah. These bots, <laughs> you know, they're scrapping themselves, even though it won't show that I got the kill. It'll, like, tell me that I get the kill with, like, the, the award thingies on, like, the, the bottom. I don't know what's going on. The test server's all buggy, so... <laughs> and, like, half the bots don't even respawn afterwards, so I, I... yeah. Hard to get an accurate read on on this mech from the test server alone, but I think it should be pretty good. It's got good speed. It's got decent HP, more so than Ares. The shield is vertical as opposed to horizontal, which is probably a little less useful than Ares, but, you know, at least your shield won't get taken down from, like, around corners or something, and it does protect you a bit more from, like, overhead. It is a little bit disappointing that there's no curve to the shield, from what I can tell. It's literally just a sideways Ares shield. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Uh, it's interesting. I think it has some applications, but don't think that any mech in the game can survive long enough to be able to make good use out of an ability like that, simply because like the best use of your ability is at like 20% HP, right? It's when you have less than 4 seconds, well potentially less than 4 seconds of cooldown for your shield, but your shield's not that durable, and... Any, any actual player could deal <laughs> far more than like 30 plus thousand uh, damage to you within like four seconds. So I don't think that it will be like meta or OP or anything like that. I think it could be useful mostly against bots, but you know, most tanks are really only useful against bots. I think everybody kind of knows that by now that like if you want to try to tank anything or actually try to utilize a shield in any way with the exception of like the dome shield for uh, Aegis against mortars pretty much your only use for it is going to be against bots which is unfortunate but uh, yeah I think this mech looks absolutely dope though and I really I really like its design it's like a more slim version of like the cool design you see in um, Onyx so I think that's I think that's pretty cool doesn't really look like a tank but I guess you know according to Mech Arena tank is just something with a shield and <laughs> not necessarily anything with large amounts of HP but y you understand what's happening anyway uh, yes so the rest of this is just going to be a showcase of all the skins and what it looks like with all the weapons because again I think like the main feature of this mech is just the fact that it looks really cool. I don't necessarily think it's going to be 
completely fantastic, but it could be, and I'm excited to try it out. But yeah, that's about it for me. Uh, take care.